Hi, this video is related to the decay cycle um, and this will then feed into talking about the carbon cycle in uh, another video. So the decay cycle is really, really important because obviously living things and organisms, animals and plants, they live and then obviously they die and they need to be recycled to provide kind of building blocks for the future um, organisms that are going to uh, be able to feed off the recycled minerals and nutrients. So when plants and animals die, um, they will be broken down by groups of organisms known as de decomposers. There are two different types of decomposers. The first type are detritivores. Now detritivores consist of uh, in mainly invertebrates um, and other types of animals such as flies, maggots, beetles, wood lice and things like worms. Um, these will actually start to break down uh, both waste material, faeces and urine, but also they will start to de decay the dead organisms as well, whether that be plant or animal. The second type are called decomposers, and that includes uh, things such as fungi and also bacteria. Now, one thing you have to remember about the breakdown of these smaller and smaller uh, molecules is that these are really important uh, in the end process of producing the chemical um, elements that are required for life, um, producing things like nitrates, but also um, breaking things down into carbon, oxygen and nitrogen, which are really, really important uh, elements in the building blocks of life. They also need um, certain conditions. It needs to be uh, moist, there needs to be a source of water. It, the temperature needs to be of a sufficient level to allow processes to occur. Um, and there needs to be oxygen available because all of these species, they have to respire. So like humans, they will be respiring. So detritivores and decomposers, they're all living things. And if they're living things, uh, respiration is going to occur. Uh, so they will be taking in the decaying matter as glucose and also taking in oxygen from the air. And they'll be converting that into water and carbon dioxide and to release energy uh, to allow them to live. Now, the carbon dioxide is really, really important, and that's related to the carbon cycle. Um, so we'll talk about what happens to the carbon dioxide in my next video. To summarise the decay cycle, we need to look at the whole picture. So first of all, we've got producers, which are plants, and also living organisms. So these are the things that, fe that feed off uh, plants and feed off each other. And there's two things that are eventually going to happen. They're going to die, okay? And then also there's going to be excretion of feces and urine. Now, those will, will um, start to be broken down by decomposers. So the first things will be detritivores to start breaking down the material smaller and smaller. And then you'll get the decomposers, uh, the fungi and the bacteria that will decompose under the, the right conditions with, with moisture temperature and ox good temperature and oxygen and those will then release two things they'll release mineral ions such as nitrates that can be used by plants for healthy growth um, and they will release carbon dioxide because they're respiring into the air and some of that will either go into the atmosphere or it will be used by plants via photosynthesis so you can see there is a cycle going on here okay this is the decay cycle and this fits in very nicely with the carbon cycle. Uh, that's the topic I'm going to look at next in my uh, the following video. I hope you found the video useful. If you have, please do subscribe to Dr Biology.